Hey. Yo guys, this is Jared, aka the Sanders Sins on Xbox Live, hitting you up with some NHL 13 online gameplay featuring my Colorado Avalanche at Sin with Vengeance's Chicago Blackhawks. This is my first experience playing the game since trying out the poor demo. I've been itching to give this thing a try since buying it up used off my friend Brandon, aka the real instant classic, but always found distractions with other games. Particularly the blacktop of NBA 2K13. So one December night, Sin jumped into my party and offered to help scratch that itch, and the next thing you know, we're firing up a few games on the ice with all sorts of teams. This being the first game of those ventures. Now it's been a long time since I've last watched a hockey game, and a longer time since I've last played one. I vaguely recall some of the rules, but I'm completely lost with these rosters and these blasted controls. So much so, that I'm going to be fighting with my instinctual urges to press certain buttons, expecting certain actions. What I end up doing is calling for a lot of line changes in this game, mostly because I'm used to those being the buttons assigned the ability to body check or poke check. I was all sorts of fucked up on this game. Thankfully, Sin wasn't much better. Like, this is like little kids playing hockey right now. This is how bad we are. Well, now, I wouldn't say all of that. I'm sure there are peewee leagues with better looking games being played than this one. Hell, this might actually be a step down for Stan Marsh if he were involved. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. God, this should be on YouTube as like the world's biggest disaster. <laughs> this is that's, this is bad. <laughs> I'm like dead serious. Oh, if only one or both of us were YouTube content creators, sitting with the ability to record this and all subsequent gameplays following, cut them up, commentate over them, and share this disastrous gameplay with the world. Oh well, back into the archives of my memory go this experience. I don't think Sin recalls me saying I was firing up the PBR for this one. Now if only I had been able to record my side of the conversation, now that's something I done goofed on. Well, I almost goofed on that last stop, but I'm not even a decent player of this game. Shit, I don't even think it's amateur hour yet. All I know is Varlamov is getting a bigger workout in front of the net than Crawford on the other end. It's only the first period and already since been dictating the pace of the game. Heavy pressure near center ice, constantly poking and prodding away for the puck when I'm in possession, aggressive to run the offense and breakouts. I don't even get to try my hand at beating his defense much in this one and all because I don't know how to protect the puck beyond his blue line. Uh, assuming of course I even get beyond the neutral zone with possession. This entire period has been all sin and the best I can hope for are a few ugly possessions in his zone that result in maybe one ugly shot or an interception on an ugly pass. Ugly, ugly, ugly. This game is brought to you by the word of the day, ugly. Also by the letters U, G, L, and Y, because I ain't got an alibi. Let's just move on, shall we? So the first period comes to an end, and I have gotten maybe one or two shots off. It wasn't pretty. Sure, things were high-flying, filled with a lot of action, had few stoppages, and filled with a lot of back and forth. But in the end, Sin won out that period by being aggressive enough to put me in the position of having to play more defensively. I just had trouble keeping position and getting off multiple shots. Hell, I was still trying to wrap my head around the control scheme. I mean, I don't think I consistently got down how to shoot until late in that first period. But coming out in the second, I now had a new hurdle to climb over. Aside from calling for a lot of line change options that would pull me away from being anything more than just a floating body out on the ice. Line management. And puck control. Okay, that's really two issues, but I already kind of hinted at the possession issues already. Now came the hard part of figuring out how to gauge fatigue on this accelerated clock, understanding the timing breakdown of when to make a shift, and overall understanding what each line change option is meant to represent. That would take a few more games, but I'm starting to grasp it. Hey, sometimes I could be a bit slow to the party, but eventually I get there, and then proceed to strip down to nothing, throw on a lampshade, and swivel my hips like my name was Shakira. All completely sober. Enjoy that mental image. I'm sure you'll be seeing it often in your nightmares for a week. But anyway, throughout this period I got better at pushing back, being a bit more aggressive on offense while setting up better cutoffs to his pass to the goal. The problem still remains that I can't get good looks at goal beyond his blue line. I'm only getting more aggressive in that I'm able to push up and control a bit more ice when I'm in possession. 
figuring out how to get past this five man defense is still weird to me because I'm never breaking free to get more odd man rushes. I'm not getting a lot of favorable breakaways, if only because I'm too slow in my movement of the puck. I like to be methodical and slow in just about any kind of game I play. I like to ruin my opponent's rhythm by controlling the tone. It only works if I better understand how to play the game and so far, I'm still looking up tutorials for how to better approach NHL 13. Heading into the third period, we're still knotted up at a goose egg apiece, but I'll be sitting with over a minute left in my power play when we return to play. Perhaps the numbers game will finally favor me, but then again, from what I've been hearing and reading, the Avalanche may be far worse off than I remember them. Add to that and my issues as a new player to the franchise and yeah, maybe I don't get an edge. Maybe this just levels out the playing field a bit. As is demonstrated here with just under 30 seconds left in my power play and Sin is not only in control of the puck, he's pushing hard for a breakaway goal attempt. My allowing that shot attempt just goes to demonstrate one simple truth. I'm in big trouble. So far, yeah, Sin's been right. This has been an ugly game but mostly for myself. He's done his job well enough because I've been stumbling backwards just playing to a tie. My intentions weren't to just tie, I of course wanted to win, but it's hard to do that when you're this inept. It was only a matter of time before Sin would find the back of my net. He's been pushing and pushing and pushing for so long that eventually he was going to beat Varlamov. He just happened to do it on a pretty ugly look in which my defense was there to try and make a stop on the shot attempt but ultimately didn't. My mistake that led to that goal? Poor line management. I should never try and change the line when my opponent is in control of the puck. So now I'm officially playing from behind, but I've been doing that the entire game. I'm just overmatched here. Had I just sat down with the game prior, learned to play it much in the way I learned to play NBA 2K, slowly grasping the sport, the players, the teams, and most importantly the controls, Maybe this game starts off much differently. Instead, I'm learning from the steep angle of the curve and trying to reach the same level as Sin, which isn't really that far off from where I ended on this night. The only good break to keep me in the game were the bizarrely timed penalties he would snag up. An odd two minute minor for interference on Jonathan Taves cuts me some slack. The man advantage would help in my approach to be more aggressive and try and keep the pressure on his side of the ice. Tentatively, I'm looking to move the puck around and try and find the best shot I can possibly get. But even with only four men on the ice, Sin was pushing and gunning, looking to keep the tempo in favor of him being the aggressor and me being the defender. Perhaps it was a strategy I allowed him to be successful with given how passive I was in the attacking zone. If I just look to put the puck on net, play more to rebounding off of every missed shot instead of just passing around to try and create one shot, maybe I knock this game up right here, right now. Instead, I allow Sin to kill my power play and reset the field back to a 5 on 5 battle for momentum that is fully in his favor. If I could just take it from him, take control of the pace and the momentum, hell, if I could just place some pressure on him, at least force him to think more about how he's going to break out of his defending zone. Anything other than turtle up and accept this ass whipping. That's kind of been my issue all game long. I've been complacent throughout this game. I never really took any chances. Alright, let's do this. You want to tussle? You want to tussle, good sir? Well, you are in for a rumble. Ah! Die! <laughs> you just got your ass beat. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that about sums up the entire experience of this game. I just got my ass beat. Those words are actually kind of poetic. I simply rolled over from the first face off of the game. I played too passively and with too much second guessing. I mean, I may not be an expert at the sport, but I'm positively certain I'm more knowledgeable about it than most of my subscribers. After all, most of you came to my channel for my NBA and MLB videos. Y'all don't really fuck with my other stuff. Oh well. This game is just a learning experience. Granted, I haven't touched the game since this night, but I'm not about to shelf this bad boy. It'll just take me a while to really start mastering it. Boy, did I pick the wrong season to get back into hockey. Anyway, this game becomes academic on that shot that misses wide of the net, as the final stands is a 1-0 loss in Chicago Stadium. 
And that'll do it from the rink. I'll be sure to hit you guys up with something real soon. Yeah. Soon-ish.